they were always on every other place. The Walmart place? No. The oh, Great place. Dragon? Yeah, Great Dragon was there. That's my um, advisor, Rob Yalnowski. And that's my second advisor, Jerry Legru. What's up, everybody? <laughs> So one of the things that comes with um, being an adult, I guess, is that you have to start cooking your own meals and you have to do meal prep. And my mom's always worried that she's always asking me what I eat for what I eat for lunch, what I eat for dinner. And um, I'm just like, yo, listen, I I'm a, I'm a pretty good cook, you know, and uh, I can I can survive the concrete jungles. I can fend for myself and let me let me show you let me prove to all of y'all how amazing my cooking skills are welcome back to another episode of binging with babish i i mean brohan binging with brohan on this fourth of july weekend i decided to make america's favorite heart stopping snack the grilled cheese the snack is great for someone who is running low on carbs and needs a well-deserved energy boost from all that good grease now the first ingredient is, of course, the cheese. I'm using shredded mild cheddar, but feel free to use any cheese if you're choosing. Next, you need some butter. Then comes the bread. The thing that binds the whole world together, but in our case, this delicious melting cheese. Then, you also need an avocado. Why you ask? I don't know. I just happen to have one. They smell like... Well, they, they smell like nothing. And for dramatic effect, you need an unnecessarily large knife. Now, the trick to a great grilled cheese is that you first toast the bread before you put it in the pan. In the meantime, let's get our pan ready. Now, preferably, you'd want to use this over a stove top, but we're just gonna warm it up with some love. Add in the butter while failing approximately three times. Now, wait for it to slowly melt. Patience is the name of the game here. The longer you wait, the better the grilled cheese. Give it some nice warmth. It is important that you give the warmth from the bottom of your heart, as it is also the final destination for the grilled cheese you will be eating later. Now that our bread is slightly toasted, let's get them. Very carefully, toss them in the pan, one at a time. Once again, it is absolutely important to treat your grilled cheese in the making with utmost love. Now it's time to add a key ingredient, the cheese. Pour it into the pan and oops, well, watch the cheese slowly melt. Now the room temperature might trick you into thinking that the cheese isn't melting, but that is nothing but an optical illusion. Do not, I repeat, do not turn up the heat. Next up, it's time to add the avocado. Chop it exactly in the middle. Oh, well, accidents happen in life, so just improvise and add the avocado to our pan. Now, make sure you don't peel off the skin, as it will give the grilled cheese a nice, scaly texture. Flip the avocado upside down and wait as the cheese slowly melts. This process is almost invisible, but don't be fooled. Don't forget to give it some warm love and take the avocado out for later consumption. This can be served as a side, like an avocado chip. Now, the only thing left to do is serve this little grilled cheese. Grab a plate, very gently, without spilling, pour the grilled cheese into the plate. Arrange it based on personal preference, but I like mine the classic way. There you have it. This looks good to me, but looks can be deceiving, so let's taste this amazing snack.
Pretend that you like it as the camera cannot see your facial expressions. Realize that you cannot eat this at all and you still need to eat something for lunch. Whip out your phone and place an order from Sheets. This might take a while, but always take the time to choose your toppings in your tacos. Finally, grab the order from Sheets and there you have it. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm just going off to campus to see uh, if we can see it from up there. But yeah. walking the streets of Huntington on the fourth of July. Well, it's technically the fifth. Yeah, that's a that's a weird thing about this town they um they, they celebrate i mean they have a fireworks show on the 5th they have may fest in april and they have october fest in september so it's just kind of it's just a huntington thing well i uh well, yeah this is my uh first fourth of july here it's it's pretty cool a lot of fireworks.